Travis Wayne Goodsell. So, this got to be my last day to do videos on YouTube. I'm assuming now that since it didn't happen today, tomorrow I will no longer be able to upload videos. And uh, took advantage of it. I think I did seven. I think this is number eight. And nobody cared. And it's possible that they were distracted with Roe v. Wade being overturned. I don't know why everybody's shocked. I told you guys from the beginning, as we all saw it play out, that it was going to happen. Even in 2016, when uh, Trump was interviewed by... Uh, I saw him come back. I don't know if it was just for one show. Uh, it was on MSNBC. Uh, Chris... Chris Matthews. Yeah, uh, he interviewed Trump for the before the election in 2016, and asked him about abortion. And Trump said, "We're gonna lock up all those women. Lock them up." And uh, and so we knew what was coming. Nobody should have been surprised that this was eventually going to happen. We knew that putting in three Trump justices was going to lead to this. I don't know why everybody's all of a sudden shocked and horrified. After the 2020 election, what did all the states do? They put in law changes for abortion and transgender rights and other things. They went on a blitzkrieg. So, yeah, what does this mean? It means that women now have to live in fear. In the state of Utah, for example, if you know anything about the rape kits, they were just piled up at the police station, didn't even bother to get processed until they were finally forced to do something about it. And uh, that also happened worldwide or nationwide as uh, they allowed for people to uh, go back and claim sexual assault uh, for a short period of time and that turned into the or that was a result of the Me Too movement I believe uh, but uh, women can now legally get raped the men get away with it Then the woman has to have the baby, because it's illegal to have an abortion. And then, once they have the baby, they're not allowed to be a single mother. They're already financially punished for being single mothers. And so they then have to give it up for adoption to a good Christian family. This is what's going to happen. This is what I warned you about with the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. This is what they want to do. But not just for raping women, for polygamy. Women, once they are old enough to breed, they get put with a leader of the church and are only for breeding. They are not allowed to divorce, because that will be the death penalty. They're not allowed an abortion. They're not allowed to be a single mother. And so the church has a long history of aiding women took away priesthood and priesthood office from women. And I'm referring to Brigham Young. Joseph Smith didn't do this. Joseph Smith didn't start polygamy. This was the Danites who purposely got Joseph Smith in trouble with the law so that they could run the church. Brigham Young, who then sex trafficked 
his sex slaves of polygamy to Salt Lake Valley. And so all this talk about, oh, Utah, uh, one of the first women to vote. Yeah, Brigham Young wanted women to vote because they would vote for polygamy. And so when the Equal Rights Amendment went around the nation to be ratified, the church came out and opposed it. And so Utah did not ratify it. And Utah was one of the few states that kept it from a happening. Now understand, women have rights in the Constitution thanks to the voting rights, which was a compromise. Which means that denying women an abortion is denying them their constitutional rights. It is illegal. What the Supreme Court is doing, we know it's going to be done, is they came out and said, oh yeah, well, it's just a first draft, but yeah, yeah, we confirm. Yeah, we know it's going to be overturned. It's illegal. They're not allowed to do that. They're making up their own law by overturning Roe v. Wade. It's already in the Constitution, and all they're required to do is make sure, nope, sorry, this bill or law or judgment that's before our desk is a violation of women's constitutional rights. Denied. Should have been denied in the earlier courts. It should never have reached the courts. Should have been thrown out as frivolous. Denying women an abortion is murder. Because it takes away a woman's right to life, liberty, and property. Her body, not up for debate on this. Because this now takes women back to becoming property that they no longer have rights to their body, to their actions. They are treated exactly like children in the law. Children are subject to parents or guardians. They're the slave owners of the children. Because children are not capable of making their own choices yet. They have to be educated first that's the public school system and the age of an adult which used to be 21 but in 1971 was changed with an amendment to make it 18 and yet states refuse to adhere to the constitutional right of an adult to be 18 <clears throat> but the church's purpose in all of this was to overthrow the Constitution, to restore their kingdom of Deseret, enslave women as property to their husbands, to not have a voice, to be silent in church, says the redactor of the author of Paul's writings. And it's a fallacious argument that conservatives have that abortion is murder. Because you can't have a baby without both sperm and egg. But we don't get taught sex education in school. I know I didn't. I'm pretty sure people are more sensitive nowadays than in my generation.
women abort an egg once a month, once they hit puberty. Men abort sperm, depending on the guy. But for each abortion of a man, it's between two and five milliliters, and there's about 20 million per milliliter. And so 40 to 100 million per abortion for a man. Even if they were religiously married to make it legal, only one, and yes, there are octomoms and twins and triplets, but on the normal basis, one. The rest die, are aborted. So again, this whole abortion is murder is an unsound argument. So, now, yeah, that's, this is likely to be my last video, but uh, I, I'm, I'm not surprised at any of this. We knew it was coming. I warned you the church wanted this done, and the church is involved. I pointed out, and did the video today again reminding you of it, the church has direct contact with the secret combination of America. Their little black book of members has the Skousen family in it. Plus, I also tied Oaks with several of the other members through their affiliated group. They want this. They pay to this group. To the groups of the members there. So the church has paid for the overturning of Roe v. Wade. Now the question is, which fund did the church pay to overthrow Roe v. Wade? Was it tithing? Because I did the video not too long ago in which there's a lot of extra money not being spent in tithing. Where is it going? So, I don't understand what's wrong with Mormons who think that there's nothing that's going to happen to them. That they think that the church isn't bad, they're not going to do anything harmful, church is true, led by Jesus. I even had a Mormon send me a death threat today in regards to Roe v. Wade being overturned. Said he was cheering and glad he was glad it was being overturned. A Mormon, male, glad Roe v. Wade is being overturned to deny women their rights. And then said, however, I would make an exception in your case, Travis, that your mom should have aborted you. That's the death threat. He was reported. YouTube didn't give a damn about me today. See, these conservatives, it has nothing to do with religious freedom, the Bible, none of that. Because I can go over the Bible stories that say it's okay to... God himself...
See the problems that happen when you turn the Bible into a literal history. But these are Mormons for you. They hate. They are evil. They want to destroy. They don't care about human life. And that's the whole point. They claim to protect an unborn fetus over the woman who is already protected according to the law, but they have no interest in taking care of that baby. None whatsoever. They just use it to abuse women. And so, I already told you what's going to happen. I already saw it in the news tonight. People are saying, oh, this is going to galvanize the Democrats and pro, or, or pro-choicers to come out in mass to vote to keep Democrats in power in Congress. It's already rigged. It's already rigged. We already know what will happen. The conservative MAGAs have already revealed what they're doing. This is part of the coup. And it used to be called the slow-moving coup. It's still going on. January 6th was just one part of the full coup of America that the church had plotted for 200 years to do. They are destroying our Constitution to take over America, to restore Deseret, to destroy the world governments. And Putin will be in charge of that. Because the United States took away Brigham Young's army. I'm being assassinated and nobody cares when I've been trying to save your lives and warn you all these years. This is my final video. And I'm betrayed by everyone. 